So I just verify that the count matches what's on here. Inside the Denver Elections Division. We've been here about two and a half weeks. The days are long and the boxes heavy. We do about 20 boxes a day, um, sometimes more, but if that's, it's a lot of carrying. That's Jill Lindgren, a first time ballot counter this election season. It's a much more physical, demanding job than I ever anticipated. And, uh, but it's, it's good, I don't have to go to the gym. <laughs> she signed up because she was curious. It's been very interesting because I was really concerned about the verification and how that all worked. And I was just shocked at how detailed and how well thought out that uh, Colorado and Denver has it planned. I think it's kind of important that people understand the process and, and have faith in the process. Marianne Thompson has been counting ballots much longer. 2006. And as for 2020. Very hectic, but you know, it's, it's the process is working perfectly. It's just there's a whole lot of ballots to count this time around. You'll notice Denver's ballot counters wear buttons announcing their political party. Jill is Republican, Marianne a Democrat. There's a lot of the, the stuff that we do here where you need two people, like an adjudication, if there's something that's off on a ballot, um, you have someone from different parties sit together and they agree on what the answer should be. Um, so there's, it's really completely bipartisan here. They know the world is watching, lobbing both criticism and praise. My, my hands are a little sore. But in here, they're just busy and they're proud of their work. I'm really glad I did it because now I know I don't have to listen to what other people say. I can make my own opinions and I can tell other people, you know, at least from what I've seen in this process, it's your your ballots are in good hands. I just love the job. Jennifer Meckles, 9 News. I love doing it.